So, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing an order of operations in this problem. A couple things we notice about this is we have two sets of um, grouping symbols, right? We have brackets and we have parentheses. So when we're looking at order of operations, remember parentheses is the first thing, or really what we call grouping symbols is the first. So we need to look inside this bracket. And inside the bracket, we always need to apply order of operations again. Well, or inside this bracket, the first operation we're going to have to apply is inside our parentheses. So therefore, my first step that I need to do is 15 divided by 3, because that is the first operation that I can apply within parentheses that are within brackets. So the innermost parentheses are grouping symbols. That's what I'm going to do first. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. Where did I put my red marker? I guess I'll just throw that. So I'll do 2 times 5 minus, in parentheses I can still do, 5. All right, now, inside this parenthesis, do I need to do any operations? Can I do any operations with 5? No, it's just the number, right? So I can actually get rid of now my parentheses. So now, I only have one more grouping symbol left, which is 5 minus 5. And 5 minus 5 is going to be? 5 minus 5 is 0. So I have 2, bracket, 0. Now, I need to multiply, right, when we have a number time a number by a grouping symbol, we're going to apply multiplication. Anything times zero is always going to be zero. So therefore, your final answer for this should have been zero. All right? So if you didn't get that, write, make sure you guys write down that problem so you guys can have that correct information for you. All right? A lot of you made small little mistakes. A lot of you